Chapter number six Tuple and Sets. Tuples are used to store uh, multiple items in a single variable. Now, the four uh, built in uh, data types for, for collections um, other than tuple are list, set, and dictionary. All of them has got different usage. We have already learned about list. Uh, in this session, we'll learn about uh, tuple and set, and in next session, we'll learn about dictionary. Now, it is very important uh, that uh, you know the differences between all these four um, data types because this is um, uh, this topic of collection array is the most important and most uh, usually asked in the interviews and the uh, interviewer's favorite topic because they can grill you on to usage of uh, the collection and what which uh, data type uh, to use so uh, you should be able to know the difference and should be able to convince the interviewer why you're using list or set or uh, tuple or dictionary in the scenario given by interviewer so coming back to tuple uh, tuple is a collection which is stored in ordered and unchangeable you can't change it it is uh, ordered and uh, as we already know we have seen one, uh, one example of tuple already we use round brackets so again uh, reiterating list is square bracket tuple is round bracket set is curl bracket and we'll learn about dictionary in the next chapter and uh, tuple does allow duplicate Now, uh, tuple, uh, Python only provides two methods for tuple. One is count and the other is uh, index. So count returns the number of times a specific value occurs in a tuple and index searches the value and returns the position of the value. Let's have a look at the examples now. So, I've written some uh, tuple code already and I'll run past uh, this code with you and uh, let's clear and then get, let's get ready for the tuple example. So the aim is to create a tuple and just to play around with the uh, tuple and just to explain to you what I mean by it allows a duplicate or not. So the first example is uh, I'm creating a tuple and the variable name is tuple1 and I'm adding a uh, um, apple banana and cherry into tuple variable tuple one printing it and uh, type I'm printing the type of the tuple one variable similarly here I'm in tuple two variable I'm creating a tuple with uh, five item but if you notice two of them like apple is repeated two times and banana is repeated two times um, so because it allows duplicate, uh, we should see all five items. Uh, in tuple three, I'm um, dealing with numbers. So just to show you, it can take numbers as well. And tuple four, I'm uh, dealing with uh, um, the Boolean. So just to show you, it can take Boolean as well and then printing, printing it and uh, printing the type so that uh, you know what the type is and I'm just using the two method so in tuple we are going through all the method provided by um, by Python so index of seven so in this what will we get written and then count of seven so how many times seven is there so let's run this so run. okay so um, in our first code, uh, we said uh, we created a tuple with apple, banana, cherry. So apple, banana, cherry got printed here and the class, um, the type is class tuple. In the second uh, piece of code, uh, we have added duplicate and uh, we wanted to check if uh, duplicates are allowed and uh, duplicate is allowed because it printed the whole of tuple. Um, in this one, we have used numbers and it is printing numbers in the same uh, order as uh, 
we have inputted so it hasn't played with our order so it is the order in which we have created again the class is tuple and uh, finally in tuple 4 we created the uh, boolean true false false and it does give us same it it is allowing duplicate because false is repeated two times and the two methods uh, first one is uh, uh, index 7 so so where the first occurrence of 7 is so 7 is here if you can see and the index is 0 1 2 so it has written 2 to us and in second one I'm saying um, give me the count number of count for or 7 so because count will be 1 and 2 so we got 2 so just let's uh, play with this uh, let's say we want 9 here and let's see what is the count for 9 it should be 1 so run and we got 1 so that's about tuple we have gone through everything about tuple so I would recommend you can uh, please uh, practice tuple uh, and uh, try and understand the difference between list tuple next uh, we'll be talking about set um, hi I haven't seen a set in in the entry level exam like I haven't seen the topic set being mentioned but nevertheless it is uh, as I mentioned it is um, the the whole uh, collection uh, data type is a very favorite topic of uh, interviewer and uh, for completeness I need to tell you about set as well so set again are used to store multiple items in a single variable set is uh, one of the four built-in types the other three are list tuple and dictionary we already learned about uh, list and tuple now set is a collection which is both unordered and unindexed so no matter in which order you um, create a set it will just manage itself it won't have it in any order and it is not index um, set uh, this uh, the syntax for set is using curl bracket I'll repeat for list it's square bracket and for tuple it's round bracket and the set doesn't allow duplicate now let's see what functions uh, for what methods does Python gives for set so these are the list of methods which python gives for set i would recommend you to pause the video at this point of time and uh, just read through the different methods um, it, uh, all these methods are used for like for example add is for adding uh, a new element clear is for um, removing everything from the set and so on and so forth um, it is kind of self-explanatory uh, all of this uh, but unless and until you don't try each of them you won't know the subtle differences between the different methods so i would strongly recommend you to go through um, as much as you can and just keep uh, practicing and uh, let's have a look at the example of set so here I am again creating number of sets so first one again I'm creating a set one with a curl bracket as you can see and I'm creating um, three value object string value object inside set apple banana cherry um, <clears throat> and printing it and typing the printing the type of uh, set one variable again uh, in the set two I'm creating I'm purposely putting in some duplicate uh, values like apple is duplicated and banana is duplicated so because set doesn't allow duplicates so let's see what uh, what we'll get out of it so we should not uh, so what should happen is we should only get uh, one value of each so duplicate should not uh, uh, get added similarly uh, in the third uh, example 
I'm creating set three with numbers. So far one, five, seven, nine, three, seven. So seven is uh, repeated two times. And I'm using a method provided by. So after creating a set three, I'm just adding in eight. Yeah. So total there will be one, five, seven. Seven is repeated two times. So one, five, seven, nine, three, and then eight. So six item should get printed when I print this. And then similarly with boolean set four i'm purposely putting in false two times but it should get print printed uh, um, it, the set should be created with only two values true and false <clears throat> we'll discuss this in a minute but let's uh, get ready for executing this uh, running this set so let's run this so as you can see, our first example, uh, apple, banana, cherry, so the, the object got created. Uh, if you see the order, I've cre I'd create, I, while creation, I've uh, given apple first, banana, cherry in that order. But the creation of the set, it just depends upon how the Python wants. It's, it's an unordered uh, um, collection so it will create in an unordered fashion so it won't be in this order like tuple and list again in our second example what we can see is uh, I'm purposely given duplicate but duplicate didn't get added and we only got uh, uh, <clears throat> set with three value um, we would also notice that the type is set in this case now in this uh, third example, I've given uh, seven object, but uh, like numbers, but one was duplicate. So, and I've also used uh, add method. So we can see six was added. The order again, you can see the order is not in the order which I I have entered it. So that's why it is unordered. And it's unindexed as well. And uh, set four, we only have got uh, false and true. Now, now we have seen an add. Now I, I just wanted to show you a clear method as well. So when I say set three dot clear, it clears everything from the set. So this is what happened when I printed it. Uh, something else uh, I wanted to mention at this point of time now that we have started coding multiple line of code um, PyCharm provides this now this basically gives you a coding uh, warning and errors and uh, nice to do things so basically it is saying um, it didn't like the way I have not provided a space in here so uh, PyCharm will give you a recommendation and uh, we will uh, try and follow the recommendation. It is always good to have this number mentioned here, uh, always zero. So if I save this now, it's gone. It's a, there's a green tick mark, which is like a code is uh, having no warning or error as per PyCharm. It is always good to get this green signal and uh, not to have any error or warning. If there is error here, our program will refuse to run. But if there is warning here, our program will run. But uh, you will have PyCharm will give you a, a warning like like this. Um, so we'll discuss uh, more about this. Uh, as we go along and uh, in a future session where our code will get a little bit um, complex and we'll start using different building blocks um, we will uh, learn more about this and the coding standards which we need to use so that's it for set and tuple and we have already learned uh, list so next session we'll learn about uh, dictionaries and that will finish our collection i have provided the links in the description below for the python and pycharm download i have also recommended three python books 
to enhance your knowledge. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.